guys next amino acid that we are going to study is glycine we have already studied glycine glycine it is the simplest amino acid it is not essential it is glucogenic it is optically inactive because there is no chiral carbon inactive right now methyl group plus glycine gives n methyl glycine this n methyl glycine is also known as sarcosin the precursor is precursor is serine okay the precursor is serine clear these all are the things important for with glycine now we will study what are the important functions of glycine okay function first main function is creatinine synthesis okay creatinine synthesis you can remember like a mnemonics here you know chewing gum right like or other gum gum or gum you can call anything here creatinine is made from three amino acids glycine a4 arginine and m4 methionine this is the one of the important function of glycine that is our creatinine synthesis creatinine is formed from three amino acids glycine arginine and methionine now second function of glycine is that synthesized by bile acid synthesis bile acid synthesis bile acid is formed from glycine and taurine the second important function is bile acid synthesis bile acid is formed from glycine and taurine next important function is so two functions we have studied. There is a protein or tripeptide, it is known as glutathione. It is an important antioxidant. We study about it. Okay. Glutathione is formed from glycine plus cysteine or cysteine plus glutamate. Three amino acids are participating: glycine, cysteine, or cysteine, or and glutamate. Three amino acid. That is glutathione. We will study what is glutathione. It is an important antioxidant. Okay. Now next function is hemoglobin synthesis. Hemoglobin synthesis: glycine plus succinyl coenzyme A will gives us the hemoglobin so the next important function is hemoglobin synthesis now more many mcqs to come that is next function is purine synthesis remember it is not pyrimidine purine is not pyrimidine purine synthesis so they will confuse you with pyrimidine okay the other function is hippuric acid formation it is formed inside liver is hippuric acid is showing how the liver is working if the liver is working properly much hippuric acid will be formed okay the functioning of liver can be tested there was a test previous years that is known as hippuric acid test but nowadays we are not using that so hippuric acid formation so these are the main functions of glycine now i have told you glutathione is very important right now let us discuss something about glutathione okay So we have already studied it is a tripeptide. It is a tripeptide. Tripeptide means glycine plus cysteine plus glutamate. Okay. So it is a tripeptide formed from so three amino acids. Powerful antioxidant so this property defines its function in our body the important function 
Now this is having two forms. One is reduced. Reduced means G S H S H G. Then oxidized. Oxidized will be G S S and G. Now what is the function of this reduced and oxidized? Now whenever there is any infection in our body, normally what will produce? A free radical will be produced. That is our peroxide or H2O2 radical. H2O2 will be produced. Peroxide is also antioxidant present in our body. Now whenever H2O2 is produced, that is our peroxide. Peroxide it is having free radical. This free radical. Okay. Now this free radical will not be able to differentiate which one is bacteria. Assume this is our bacteria. Sorry, four legs and all. And this is our poor RBC. Now this free radical can't differentiate in between bacteria and RBC. Okay, so free radical when the blood is infected, any infection comes in our body, free radical will comes to attack. So what happens is that our RBC normally RBC will be here. This RBC is shielded by this glutathione. That is our glutathione. So main function of RB glutathione is it protects our RBC from the attack of free radical. Okay, see, I will explain you how it is happening. I told you this glutathione is of two forms reduced and oxidized. Assume this is our RBC and it is produced protected by our glutathione. I told you glutathione is in two forms, right? One is our reduced form. This reduced form it will be converted to oxidized form that is our GSSG. Now this oxidized form must be converted to reduced form that is by glutathione reductase and reduced will become oxidized by glutathione oxidase. Now Whenever H2, the free radical H2O2 is coming here, it will be combining with this 2H plus. 2H plus plus H2O2, they will form 2 water. In this way, manner, they are detoxifying it. So there is no water is not harmful for us. The free radical will become H2. So the RBC is protected. That's what glutathione is doing. See here we need a coincide that is. Na, NADPH. Okay, we will study. We will study a cyclone as pentose phosphate pathway. At that time we will study it is producing in there. So glutathione reductase need this one. Okay, so NADPH will help the enzyme glutathione reductase. In this manner, glutathione is acting as a protecting barrier for our RBC. Otherwise, it will cause hemolytic anemia. All the RBC will be Lysed. So this is the mechanism how it works. Okay. Now if you if you are generalizing the functions of glutathione, it is having some other functions also. I will explain you what you have to remember. Functions of glutathione. So there are different functions. First one is RBC protection. Now there is some we have studied SAM S adenosyl methionine protection. Okay, so this is a methyl donor. Then transport of amino acids to kidney. Transport of amino acid to kidney. Then it helps in drug metabolism. These are some main functions of our RBC protection. These are some uh, main other different main functions. One more I am writing in red color. If this you are remember, normally in the blood our iron is in which form?
ferrous, right? It will become oxidized to ferric. Okay. Now, so this two plus is becoming three plus. This is the function of what? This is oxidation, right? So there is a enzyme here, methoglobin reductase. This methoglobin reductase it is converting ferric to ferrous. So this is a normal. So the function, proper function of methoglobin reductase, we here also we need what? Glutathione. So this is also an important function of glutathione. So glutathione keeps the iron in ferrous form. This also we have to remember. So the, these are the main important function of glutathione. So glycine is one of the component of glutathione. So that's about glycine and glutathione. Then we will move to next amino acid. Clear?